Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to remove dust and specks from an image so you can go from this to this with some very easy steps. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Okay, let's get started by removing all the layers I've created so far. So this is our original image and you might already expect it. We are going to use a filter on noise that is called dust and scratches, but it's not as easy to use as you might think. So the first thing we need to do is to click on our image layer, right click and then duplicate that so we have a second version of that and now what you would do is to use the filter that I just showed you here dust and scratches but now here is a little disclaimer this is really important as you can see we need to put a lot of radios on here so we don't only get rid of the specs as you can see here let's zoom in a little bit you can see now I'm getting rid of the specs, but the halos are still there. So I need to have more radius. So if I give it more radius, what you can see is that this actually blurs the picture. Now, what is happening here is that you create a halo around your main subject. That can be a big problem. So we have to prepare for that. How are you going to do this? Click on cancel, first of all, and then with our picture, select that the duplicate of the picture that is what we're going to do is we click up here on the liquify persona that's very important and now what you want to do is to just push in your subject a little bit all around so like this just move it in a tiny little bit and this will keep us from having this halo around our fish in that case at the end result. So just move it in a tiny bit around that. You can see I'm not going too far, I'm just going a little bit and all the way around. This is the important part. All right, let's push this a little bit in more. Okay, good. Let's click on apply. And you can see now that our fish is a little bit smaller around, but the rest is staying the same. Good. So now what we can do is again, we go to filter, noise, dust and scratches and now move around your radius here so you don't have any kind of halos any kind of effects in the background the good thing here is we have a lot of bokeh in the background so it's pretty cool this effect works the best if you have bokeh in the background if you don't i will also show you a trick on how to do that well a trick is kind of maybe exaggerating it okay you can also play a little bit with um, the tolerance if you want to you can zoom in here because sometimes affinity photo doesn't really show you how the picture actually looks so uh, we can go up here with the tolerance as you can see here i get back a little bit of the noise that has been in the original picture but what you have to look out for is that you don't get any of these kind of halos or any other effects back so pretty much have an eye on that to be sure that it looks good. All right, if you're ready, click on apply. This is a permanent filter, so this can't be changed afterwards. This can't be undone afterwards. And I would say it looks pretty good. We have this nice bokeh still in the background. Everything's there. Now, of course, we want our fish to be sharp in the picture. Now, here is what I would suggest you to do. First of all, click down here to create a mask layer like this. Pop this open so make sure that just the mask layer is selected and then you go to your brush, set it to a nice size. You want to set these two to white and also black like this and then what I'm doing here because we moved in the fish a little bit at the beginning is that I'm going to just paint a line around the fish on the outside. So I'm seeing the borders of the original fish again. This is really important because otherwise you might cut off, you might hide elements of the original fish, might not even know that you have done that. And that's not a good thing. So after we have done that, we can paint in the rest of the fish. And then there is also some more secret sauce. There's already have been some, a lot of secret sauce so far, but uh, what you have to figure out here is, did I cover everything of the fish? Now look at this. If you 
click on alt sorry if you hold alt and click on your mask you can see what you have already painted you can see oh i missed some spots so just paint them in easy like that and there you go now you know you've covered everything with black and then just click on another layer and boom we are back now we do the reverse thing again select the mask layer click on white and then just zoom in a little bit here so you see what you're doing and just go close to the fish i set my uh, brush to hardness 41 uh, the size depends on your image resolution opacity 100 flow 100 that's all okay and just paint this in lightly and you can always go back um if you are not happy with your results these areas that are a little bit deeper here i will leave them out we will fix that in a second i will show you how of course another easy trick to do so yeah secret sauce all over again and um there we go you can see this is a very quick very easy very fun process to do um a little bit of cleaning up we get some nice also a very nice bokeh effect uh, on the fish so as you can see the background whoops that was a little bit too much the background now is a lot softer and i will show you how to fix that too yeah we have a ton of good stuff in this video one second um there we go by the way put in the comments if you like that video if you want to see more like that if you have other suggestions for tutorials all that good stuff okay so now we have gone that far let's clean this up here a little bit that looks good okay so now we have these areas here we want to fix them too uh what you're going to do is you take your freehand selection tool if you're not seeing it on the left side you need to click and hold this because there's a lot of different options in here you want to select this little cowboy lasso tool that's a good one all right select this and then go here and then just paint with your mouse if you're not that good with your mouse you might need several attempts maybe um, you can also go back and forward here if you want to for example here it says add so you can click on add and zoom in a little bit more and say okay i want to also capture this and if you have too much you can go to subtract and then just like remove something as you can see here it's really easy so now with this selected we click on add and we move over to the other parts by the way I am moving my canvas by holding the middle mouse button. This means pressing down your mouse wheel. If your mouse has this function, that's pretty cool. It makes it very easy. And zooming, another trick here, I hold control and roll my mouse wheel and this will zoom the picture in and out. Yeah. So there we go. Um, down here and we're done. Okay, good. Next one, go up here and then go down here all right that looks good we want to capture this a little bit and capture that a little bit and maybe some here and i think that down there is good let's go with this here all right boom there we go okay i think that's everything good so now don't use this to paint on because it's too sharp it's too hard as an edge we want to go to select and then feather and then again with your mouse wheel hover over the number here roll your mouse wheel you can see i can change the numbers very easily and very like step by step one pixel at a time i will set this to four pixels click on apply all right and now we simply go back to our brush and you can paint over this and not fear that you're painting over the fish so you only reach the areas you want to reach so Control d to deselect and you can see now we have also captured these areas and you can see we fixed almost the whole image like that just with this simple step you know okay so of course you say well but we have some stuff in here too don't use now your brush to fix this because this is blurry doesn't look good so what you want to do is to create a new pixel layer down here at pixel layer this one this icon here click on that good now go over to your in paint brush on the left side down there in paint brush select that and then up here in that area click on current layers and below that's very important and now when you click somewhere you can see that this is taking as the source 
the layer below that. So now what you're gonna do is just like find all of these white spots that you want to eliminate and click on them and then simply paint them out just like that. And there we go. This is a little bit of a game. You have to maybe put on some nice music if you have a lot of these specs in here and then just clean everything up. As you can see, it is super easy. And before you go, don't turn off the video right now because I want to show you some more tricks. Um, what you are going to do if you have a different picture with a background with more details. Down here didn't work. Sometimes if you have a problem, if your in-paint brush isn't able to fix that kind of situation that you have, you can also use your clone brush tool. But in that case, make sure that you also have set it to layers beneath not to current layer to layers beneath that's pretty important and then what you're doing is you zoom in here you have to hold the alt key so this turns into this little cursor and set a source like here for example and then go over here and you can see i can click on that and then paint in my details because sometimes the in paint brush is sourcing from the wrong position and it doesn't look good and another thing you can do here is with your arrow keys you can rotate that so you can see i can put this so it's exactly the same kind of round shape that i need over here and then click maybe once or twice and now i fix that kind of situation and afterwards of course i can switch back to my in paint brush so we are going to quickly do the rest of this let's go high speed here Boom, boom, boom. Let's fix everything. This might need the help of the in-paint brush. Mm, yes, you can see here we have a problem where it's picking up that side, but we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to source this here. And then you have to set the rotation back. So the rotation is up here. So set this back to zero. So the brush works again and then click, click, click. You can see we have fixed this in a second. Okay, perfect. Now let's go on to the rest. Uh, where's the rest? There we go. And we are almost, oh, this is again an area where we need some help from our good old uh, clone brush. Let's clone up here and then move this down. Actually, hmm, let's see. Yeah, that works. Okay, so sometimes a little bit tricky. And um, I'm known to be kind of a stickler for these kind of little details, going over them again and again to fix them, get them right, uh, just like the way I want them. But you can go as fast or as easy as you want to. We have some more over here, as you can see. Boom, very easy. All right, so I promise you to show a trick on what you're going to do when there is different backgrounds. By the way, one more thing just for the guys to say, oh, but this could look better. Let's go with curves here. I'm going to pull this down a little bit and then I'm going to pull this up a little bit so we have a little bit more contrast in here. And then also I'm going to put an unsharp mask, but not on my curve. I want to put it on top of that. I will set this to one and this to one so that should work out fine. And I also promised you that we are going to add back this kind of noise that we had in the original picture. The way you are going to do that is that you create a rectangle like so, and you want to set that rectangle to 50% luminance. So you can either go with HSL slider and set everything to the left. But what is a lot easier is go to grayness and then just set this to 50, like so, 50. Boom, there you go. Okay, so... Next thing, filter, noise, add noise, like so, and set it to 100%, click apply, like that, pretty good. This also, by the way, converted our rectangle into a pixel layer, so that's pretty cool. If this didn't happen for you, select the rectangle layer, right click and rasterize. This will also turn it into a pixel layer, good. So now here are the next steps that we have to take. Click on your mask, right click, duplicate, like so. Then select your mask and pull it up onto your pixel layer. So it looks like this. And then go to normal and soft light as a blend mode. 
this is actually still the mask so this is not the right one you want to select your noise and then go to soft light and then you can zoom in here see well this is a little bit strong so you want to reduce the opacity like so until it looks good that looks good that looks like the other version and so you can see now we just have created a very clean very nice picture very short time with super easy tricks okay we're not done yet stay tuned here is more i have here another picture where we have all this dust in the background and now here we have bokeh in the background it's very blurry so the same trick applies like so so we have fixed the background and in this case we have also dust specks in the foreground now here's the thing and i'm sorry to tell you but what you have to do here is to create a new pixel layer and then use your in paint brush put on some good music and paint out all these little specks by hand because you could do this as a second layer with the same technique but it will make the foreground rather blurry so that is not ideal so in that case you would simply go through all these little details and just clean them up by hand um but you don't have to do everything because this foreground is noisy anyways so i would suggest only doing the bigger ones that you can actually see on first sight that actually are interfering with your kind of joy of looking at the picture and leave the smaller ones be that kind of in that area because in that area even for your eye it's super hard to tell which is noise which is not noise of course here on our little snail you want to click up these uh, you want to clean up these areas but this again is easily done with your in paint brush or with your clone stamp so yeah this is how that part is done it's a little bit more work intense and i'm sure in one or two years we're going to see an ai that's going to do this for us anyways yeah Okay, I'm going to clean this up real quick um, and speed up the video.